hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm perpetual joseph and if this is your first time coming to this channel you are definitely welcome please make sure you like this video subscribe and click on the bell button down below so you can get notified whenever i post again yay so yeah in the previous video i shot for you guys i told you all i was going to give you people clues of nigerian brands you know nigerian brands that produce foundations and then i'm going to first do the f top five most expensive ones and then i'm going to do the top five least expensive ones so yeah today's video i'm going to be doing the top five most expensive brand nigerian brands that do foundations and when i'm talking, say, saying top five i'm actually not just going to be calling any random top five i'm going to be calling top fives that are actually good so that doesn't mean when I'm doing like the low budget budget <laughs> ones, I'm going to just be calling any random top five. I'm actually going to look through them and make sure they are good foundations. So I'm doing this so you can be able to pick, okay, what foundation you want to use for yourself and it could match your budget and you know, everything. So guys, if you want to see and you want to know and you want to understand this video, please keep watching. So first of all, yeah, I wrote them down and I had done an extensive research about these things. So I may be looking down once in a while. Do not blame me. <laughs> so my first foundation I have on this list is BM Pro. I don't know, BM Pro, if you know this foundation, it is owned by, um, I'm coming, I don't even know. Um, it's, it's an actress, a Nigerian actress. I think is it Juliet Brahim or somebody of that nature? I'm just going to put a picture here. It's owned by her, it's run by her. She's the CEO of the brand. I have never ever used anything of that brand. I am not going to even lie. I've never used anything on, on of that brand. And well, that's because I don't really know, you know, it's not spread to like everywhere in nigeria i think the basic people that buy it and maybe people in lagos or people that know how or something because like you can't really walk into a common store around this northern nigeria and then find it and you know how am i supposed to get it so yeah that's it but then from the people that have used it and then from the pricing i'm guessing it should be a good foundation it should be able to do all the good things people want their foundations to do because it costs 8,500 naira. 8,500 naira, let me see for people that want to calculate it in dollars, should be around 20 something, maybe 25 to, yeah, 25 dollars or something of that nature. 25 dollars. Now, I don't want to be spending 25 dollars on a foundation that wouldn't be nice. So that's why I'm telling you guys that I'm guessing it's really, really nice. So yeah, that's the first foundation on our list. The second foundation on this list is um, Vessi Goldsmith. Vessi Goldsmith. Okay, so basically, I think this is a new brand. I don't really know if they have stayed up to two or one year. I'm not really very, very sure. But I'm following them on Instagram. And you know, there was a time I really wanted to try the foundation because I was like, it's really weird for a new brand to come out and be very, very high end. You know, most of these high-end foundations, like Nigerian brands, they are always foundations that are from like owned by all these artists, celebrities, and then they know, okay, fine, I already have like the popularity, so I can make my things expensive. People will still buy. So I really wanted to like get this foundation and know, oh, why is it five thousand five hundred naira? And then I was seeing, according to like the pictures I was seeing, it wasn't so big. So you know, I asked on the group chat on the on Instagram, and I was like, oh, please, how can I get your foundation in just? And then she was like. Um, yeah, 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 it's in so 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 and so. I think I'll take stores or something of that nature in just I never really went to go and get it in the end. So, yeah, for the second time, I'm really sorry to disappoint you guys, but yeah, I have not used this foundation. But then I think it should be really, really great because considering the fact that she doesn't have much following, I don't really think people know her like that because like her page doesn't have that much following and then she's just a starting brown for her to put her foundation at 5,500, most probably is nice. But, you know, I haven't used it, so I can't really tell you guys. So maybe you'll try and see, or maybe when I use this, or maybe when I get it, I'm going to do a review for you guys. But for now, I haven't used it, and yeah, that's the second one on the list. From 8,005, you can see the difference between these two foundations. Like, there is 3,000 euro difference. That's almost $10, like... The difference is much and then i'm still calling this one high-end like life in nigeria is hard I man like nobody wants to be spending money on 
something too expensive especially when i'm feeling like okay let me support my nigerian made brands like i don't know if people get the reason why they call them nigerian made brands you can't be a nigerian made brand and then be putting your price as high as like mac like the reason i want to buy from you is because you know we are suffering from inflation we're suffering from inflation we're suffering from all these hard things and so putting your foundation at eighteen thousand as a nigerian brand doesn't really make sense fifteen thousand ten thousand it doesn't really make sense because like we are suffering from inflation now the third one on this list is you know in the end like tara was one of the top ones but then when i checked because it's been a while i used tara and when i checked now i i saw that their price has been slashed down so so much so Tara is like going to be the least on this list, the last on this list. <laughs> so for now, the third one is Elsa's Pro. Now, <laughs> Elsa's Pro. Elsa's Pro, I haven't used their foundation. I am really sorry, guys. I haven't used their foundation. The foundation is also owned by, is run by a lady, the foundation line, the cosmetic line. I only have used their brow gel and what again, I think their brow filler and I didn't even use it personally but then it was used on me by a makeup artist we did a, a collab together you could scroll down to my video and then you'd see and I would say their products were really really nice and I don't know the, the brow gel, the brow filler, everything was on point like when I say on point, it was really on point the brow gel was very easy to manipulate and all that so yeah, I really really enjoyed their products and I think she used their powder too that day. Their products are really nice and that was one of the reasons why I put it on this list because it's a good it's a good stuff and for 4,500 Naira, I think it's good. 4,500 Naira, that's about $103. That's, eh, sorry, that's about $13. <laughs> Thirteen dollars is a really really good price for something I think would be really really nice. So I think if I was to try a new foundation, it would be one of the ones I would consider buying. Now on fourth on our list, and yeah, that's what I'm carrying on my face is Zara foundation. Zara is one of like the most popular foundations. It has been it's a makeup brand that has been here for a while, and yeah, you know Nigerian makeup brands are just picking up like for the past one year, two years. Like before, I think I think correct me if I'm wrong that the two major cosmetic brands that were just Tara and you know. Zaron and I think that's because people really didn't know how to go about cosmetic business But now Nigerians are growing. I'm going to talk about this in a whole new video because I have so much I want to talk about this Nigerian growing makeup brands and you know content creators and all that I really want to talk about it. So, you know, this is just like Aside like aside aside, but then Zaron is going for 4,500 also I think some stores even retail it for 4,350 some retail it for 4,750 Honestly, it just depends on like where you're buying it in the beginning when I bought Zaron about three years back I really didn't like it because I'm not a person that really likes Makeup that makes you look artificial. I'm not that kind of person. I really don't like such kinds of makeup I like makeup that when you put it on your face, you won't even feel the weight You won't even feel like you can be tempted to want to clean your face because you don't even know you're carrying makeup Like that kind of foundation. Those are the kind of foundations I like and the first time they brought it out The mat was too matte. Honestly, it was too much for me Like if you put it on your face, it's literally going to like if I put half on half of my face you're literally going to see a very massive difference from this place and this place and it's going to be like like one swipe can be 10 layers of foundation or something but it's really great some people in fact most people i'm very sure they really really love that kind of foundation but somebody like me it was a no no so once i was done with that pack, pack i bought i never really bought again so you know i have been seeing it on people and i'm like i'm like this is the same zara like i know so let me try it again and then i tried it again and honestly it's amazing there's a review the, the video before this video is carrying a review of this zaron and a whole lot of their products but then like basically i concentrated on the foundation so yeah i would advise you 100 percent to go for zaron i have used it it's nice it's good it's affordable for 4350 to 4750 that period is really really affordable but the thing with zara which i said in the other this thing the other video too is that zara is look it looks quite big when it comes and all that but honestly to cover your face full face makeup you may use half packet like you have to actually keep using a lot of it 
on like some foundations like example let me see like maybelline or like zikiel they are very very light and very very easy spread and very little of it can go around your whole face but not with zara oh zara you have to you have to if you're a person that wants to mise your foundation or say oh let me put time time no 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 don't don't buy zara it's not for you mm? so now the last the least foundation on our list is tara i told you guys before the first time like their foundation was rebranded and brought her it was at 6500 about 6000 there and then i was like why like really why like makeup brands are coming up this is a sign that you should be going down with your prices not coming up you know and then i used it once it's really really nice it's great coverage it's just like zara it's just they're like in the same family it was really great but then it wasn't worth the price at that time so like when i was going through this list i already even put it a second after bm pro but then i went back to their page and i did some intensive search and i saw that oh this thing has actually dropped to four thousand euro so yay it's four thousand euro you can get it you can buy it it's quite big and then you know it's something you can use for a while and you know you get the feel of beauty so guys this is the end of the video i hope you really enjoyed this top five videos i have researched and brought for you guys if you have any questions please comment down below these are our nigerian brands let's make sure to show them love and support because in the end like you know it's going to boost our country's economy and seriously these brands are really really helping because it's trying to push away i'm going to do a whole video about this one so i know i see a lot of videos i'm going to but i have them in my mind i've just been off and on but honestly i'm going to do a video to show you how much of fake products are in nigeria fake makeup products like if mac is releasing a a, a shade right now i'm very sure fake people are still doing like right now it's too much in nigeria and the good part about this high end and low end foundations and cosmetic lines of nigeria is that they are helping to drive this out because people are now getting aware like okay i can actually buy an original foundation that is in my country like a make of my country and then i would be rubbing something that's like original so people are getting informed and you know it's really driving them out and i'm very very happy about that so let's keep patronizing them and yeah that's it guys my next video is going to be on the five low-end foundations top five least expensive foundations that are owned by nigerian brands if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like subscribe and share i am overly excited about this my makeup i reviewed it if you want to see the makeup it's in the video right before this one so just click on my profile and then watch the video before this one you're going to see it's really really beautiful i love this makeup i am i have just been looking at my viewfinder and admiring this makeup this hair is from gatsby's beauty i told you guys i always loved your hairs they always slay it you can't even imagine how how much this hair i didn't curl this hair this is how the coils it never goes away this is how the coils always is and this hair went for i bought it for about 55 50k yeah 50 or 45k one of them and that's like around 150 dollars bam and you know i've been rocking you rocking you their frontal super amazing super i didn't twist this frontal i didn't twist one life out of it but see how natural it looks so guys make sure to chat them up i'm going to leave the link to their page down below my lashes from Gatsby stores most of the things on my face are from Sarah cosmetics i love you all i'll see you all in my next video ciao